Hello and welcome to The American Individual. I'm your host Dylan and today we have a new video for you guys and we actually have a new series. Uh, it's going to be called Faith Friday um, and we're going to focus on faith-based topics, uh, specifically Christian topics because that is my faith. Um, and in this series we'll talk about Christianity itself and how it factors into American life and maybe even you know personal stories. Um, but I will probably bring some guests onto the show for this series just because I am not a theologian, um, so I'm, I don't feel qualified to talk on some topics. But there are some top topics that I can talk about and research myself. In this video, we will talk about modern kind of issues and problems that we see the American people facing and Christianity. But before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe, as well as check out the merch store if you want to see the channel grow and improve. Anyways, let's get into the video. Now, a lot of this will probably be me soapboxing. But unless you've been living under a rock, you've definitely noticed like a general downward trend in our society's morals and values. Now, sexually immoral things such as drag queen story time for kids and shows for kids, excessive partying and hoe phases and young teenagers and adults, excessive drug use, pride, depression, suicides, mental illness, violence, and so much more um, are all problems that seem more relevant in our great nation and our problems that are just popping up. Now, if that's because of the internet or just a general lack of values, I think statistics can kind of show that it is because of the general lack in values. Now, I believe the reason we are facing all these issues is because we as a people have turned from God, uh, the Christian God, and have fallen to our sinful nature as all humans are bound to do. Now, church attendance has steeply fallen over the past century as a consequence and sort of cause of all these issues. Even all those things that I listed previously, as bad as they are, you can diagnose pretty easily that this, you know, that Christianity and God is the solution. For example, people who have fallen into sexual sin don't know the harm they cause themselves and their partner or partners. Uh, and scientists have even proven that when a man and a woman have sex, they form a connection. And this is, you know, stated in the Bible already centuries earlier. So it's science is finally catching up to religion. But the point I'm making in all of these things and all these problems like mental health, nobody getting married, drug use, all these things could be fixed if people just turn to Christ. Now, the people addicted to drugs, money themselves are worshiping things that make themselves feel good temporarily which is a terrible terrible toll on your mental health right if you're if you're trying to find satisfaction in something that's you know worldly whether it's money or women or weightlifting like you're never gonna have enough of that however if you go and you turn to God you know you you will feel more fulfilled in your life because it is a more fulfilling thing for your soul. What I'm trying to say is that the worldly things that we desire are all temporary, but at, at the end of the, our lives, what do, we end up in the grave anyways. We don't bring our things with us, right? We all die, and it's just a matter of when and where you go after. Uh, Jesus says, and I'm gonna bring some scripture into this, but Jesus says in Mark 8, uh, verses 34, 38 and calling to the crowd with his disciples he said to them if anyone would come after him let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whoever would save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's sake will save it for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul for what can a man give in return for his soul for whoever is ashamed of me and my words is in this adulterous and sinful generation of him will the son of man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his father with the holy angels. Now, what what I think Jesus is saying here, um, and if you differ opinions with me in the comments, just put it down below. I'll read it probably. But what Jesus is trying to say is that if anyone, if you deny yourself, like if you deny your worldly desires, and you give up the things that you think are making you happy, but are actually harming you, you will end up getting eternal life through Christ and going to heaven, but you'll also end up happier and more fulfilled on earth. I, I myself was living in some of these ways and contributing to the decline of our great nation, but I have recently rekindled my relationship with the Lord Jesus because there's more to life than whatever I was pursuing. However, all is not lost because I plan on trying to help people strengthen their faith 
and try to reinstall the Christian principles that helped make our country so great. Because while we are all on the decline, like a semi going downhill at 80 miles per hour with no brakes, you know, we still have the power of God on our side, hopefully. Lastly, I just want people to understand this. You know, if you are going through some of these problems, because I can rattle off statistics all day long, but if you're going through some of these problems, drugs, sexual immorality, pride, love of money, you know, if you turn to Christ, just know that your sins are forgiven through him and you can start a new life without those burdens, right? And you can shed your past sinful ways and you will no longer have to bear the burdens and pains of your past if you go to him. And to do that, I mean, I recommend if you go to your local church. There are some bad churches, so be careful. There are some that promote false values and things like that and are false prophets. But, you know, you put it down in the comments below if you are struggling and need help. I'd be more than interested to help read and talk about, you know, your issues because we all struggle together. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was, a, it was a little different. I just wanted to have more of a personal conversation with you. All 10 of you. But make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content as well as check out the merch store if you want to see this channel grow and improve. But most importantly, have a good night.